Hello, uh, how you doing, ma'am? What's your name and your age and where are you from? My name's Diane. My age is 50, sorry. And I am from Orange County and homeless. And what was your childhood like? My childhood, my childhood was like, it was normal, I would say. What did you want to be growing up? A veterinarian. Hey. hey. What's your What's your dog's name? My dog's name is Brandon. Brandon Walsh from 90210. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I had him since I was, he was four months old, and he's like, he's my companion, mm -hmm. and he ha he worries about me if I'm not in sight. He cries like a big baby, like a real baby. Well, we only have a couple more questions, okay, to, and sure. people get to know you better. What is your happiest moment up to now? My happiest moment up to now, my happiest moment is my family, my two dogs, and my wife that I've been with for 12 years. Amen. What's Amen. your wife's name? CJ. And what is your most painful moment up to now? My pain, painful moment is I lost my mom in 1999. And I still think about her, and it hurts. Um, she hung on for four days before her birthday, and then I showed up. And the only way she remembered somebody, if the left eye had a tear coming out, and she remembered me on that day, on her birthday, and she passed away the day after, it's the 19th. That's right. And I had muscular dystrophy, and it hurts real bad out here. How long have you had muscular dystrophy? All my life. I was born with it. Wow. Yes. Can you explain some of the challenges of having muscular dystrophy and being Well, honest? I'll tell you that how I explain it is there's a little bug inside me, not a real bug, but there's a bug and it eats my muscle tissues and no matter how much exercise I get or whatever I eat, it's my muscles still here. Um, how do you say it? Well, they dissolve, you know? And um, it's hard for me to get off the ground. It's hard, I can't lift nothing over my head. It's, it's really difficult. But I got, I got Jesus, and he's the one that, you know, tells me I can do it. Okay, uh, number five, who's the most important person to you? Right now, the most important, number one, Jesus, but my family, the only family I have, like I said, is CJ and my two puppies, Brandon and Toby. And what are you grateful for? I'm grateful for breathing every day. Amen. And last question, if you could give any advice to a teenager, what would you tell them? I would tell them, stay in school. Whatever you're gonna go for, go for it. Don't, if, if you feel like you're down, if people put you down, don't believe them. You got it, and you can do it. I dropped out of school in 10th grade, and I regret it. God bless everybody. Thank you so much, Diane, for just yeah. sharing your life with us. Um, Sorry I know <laughs> it's okay to cry, and I know that your testimony and your story and your words will touch the hearts of some high school students. I hope so because you stay in school. Please stay in school. No matter if you if you turn the wrong corner, just you know, get back on your feet. Believe me. I, I made the worst mistake by dropping out. I really did. I regret it. Thank you, Diane Thank and, you. and Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> we, we appreciate you both so much and I can't wait for you to see your portrait. Thank you.